Round 1. User event before submit versus workflow before record submit. User in script and a workflow. So both of them I have deployed it on a vendor record. Let's try whether the user event before submit triggers first or the workflow for record submit triggers. So in order to check that, I have a user event script now. And I have a entry point function called as before submit. I am trying to throw an message which says UV script before submit wins. And on the other end, I have a workflow which has one single state and which is actually trying to throw a user error on before record submit. And this workflow is going to trigger on a vendor record whenever a vendor record is created or edited. I have already deployed a script for the user event before submit function. Right now I have all the entry points, but only before submit has the code. After submit does not have any code or record load does not have any code. Now let's test this with a vendor. So right now I have a vendor record. I have already opened it in edit mode. It's an existing vendor. So now let's click save on this. Check whether user event script for submit triggers first or workflow before record submit triggers first. So I'm gonna click save. I can see it says uh, UE script before submit wins. So in order to confirm one more time, I'm gonna undeploy this particular deployment on the vendor record. Let's say edit and undeploy this particular script. Let's save this. And now let's go back to the vendor record. And I'm gonna save this vendor record again. And this time if you see, it says WF wins. So which means it actually concludes that UV script triggers first, which is in before submit. Round two. User event before load versus workflow before record load. I have added a code in the before load entry point and I have removed the code from before submit and there is no code even in off submit. Script is already deployed. Now let's go back to our workflow. Even workflow, I have changed the initiation to for record load and even the state throws an error is now in before record load. Now let's go back to our vendor record and let's refresh this which is going to load this record. And let's see what happens. And we can see still UV script wins. Round 3. User event after submit versus workflow before record submit. So if I just go to my script, I have added a code in my after submit function. says UV script after submit wins. And I have removed all the code from before submit and the before load. And let's go back to our workflow. And in my workflow, the workflow will trigger on before record submit. And even the error will throw up on before record submit. So now let's go back to our vendor record. Now let's try to save this. So now the workflow wins. Round 4. User event after submit versus workflow before record load. And here we can easily guess yeah, again the winner gonna be a workflow wins. So in order to conclude this script and workflow which has similar entry points, in that case script is going to win, it is going to trigger first. And wherever the case, let's say the workflow and the user event has a different different entry points, the winner can't be decided easily. It depends upon the entry points which has been used on both script and the workflow.